Hey gang, welcome back to another brief video. I'm going to be cycling through some of my watches with some of these uh, unique strap options or bracelet options um, just to showcase uh, what's going on with them and, you know, to try something different. We all love watches, but we also love straps. So real quick, uh, this is my Seiko Darth Tuna. It's a 1000 uh, meter quartz tuna. And I've always struggled with tunas because I love swapping straps, but there's only a few straps that really do it justice. Um, one of them is definitely my favorite, the ISO frames, um, especially with the blacked out PVD uh, buckle and tang. But <clears throat> recently I managed to get um, a tuna in with the shark mesh. Now shark mesh has never been something uh, I've tried on a tuna. I've tried it a lot on Omegas, especially um, on a Ploprof, Prof um, and then a lot of Planet Oceans, I've bought the uh, Omega Shark Mesh, but I've never tried one aftermarket on a tuna. So here is uh, a Shark Mesh, which is super great. It's uh, 22 millimeters um, and it's made by Gekota or Ge yeah, Gekota in the UK or they sell it. Um, they're, I guess, a subsidiary of Watch Gecko. Or Gecko, yeah, watch Gecko. I'll throw a link up. And it is a black PVD H link shark mesh. And it comes on this super cool, it's a branded, there you see that's the brand. It's a super cool six micro adjust clasp. It's got double pushers and a secure uh, lock. Um, and it is very flexible, very airy. It doesn't add too much weight. Again, this is completely titanium. Um, this is around 110, 115 with the bracelet on. Uh, this thing goes up to 164 grams. So it adds a little bit of weight, but what it does beautifully is it allows this to sit superbly on my wrist. Let me just put it on real quick. You can see I've got a 7.3 inch wrist and uh, this thing sits really well. Let's zoom out just a bit. Um, and it's got no overhang, which I hate. It, it is loose enough to allow circulation. And I like to wear my watches behind the wrist bone. Um, and it's comfortable enough. There's no pinching, no, no uh, hair pulling, especially. That's a big issue for me. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it wears really well and it completes it. To me, this almost feels like this would be a stock Seiko style bracelet. I mean, I like the SBBN 015 bracelet, but there's no real PVD coated option out there for the tunas. So I wanted to showcase this for those of you who have um, the Seiko Tuna Darth or even the Emperor, which I'll uh, take another video of, uh, and just say these are great bracelets, very comfortable and, uh, you know, great options for us who uh, like to change things out. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, this has just been a brief overview of the Gekota Shark Mesh 22 millimeter PVD uh, bracelet for the Seiko Tuna, or I guess any watch, uh, as long as you have a straight end link. Um, but I like them because the Tuna's got hidden lugs and when you look at it from when it's being worn, it just looks like it's made for the watch. So again, guys, appreciate everyone's time. Like and subscribe to videos. It really motivates me to keep generating content. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of these uh, shorter videos now to just talk about straps, watches, and combinations of them uh, because I got, a, I got a watch box, but I've also got a strap box. So uh, till the next one, thanks and uh, have a good one.